Ryan Marcy, even though it hasn't hit here yet, medical experts are concerned about the measles. Now that it's been reported in Mexico, they don't want to be they want to be ready in case it makes it across the border. Harlingen Medical Center is preparing for an outbreak, one that's spreading like wildfire closer than you think. It is extremely contagious um, and you can't Purell or Lysol your way out of it. Infection preventionist Penny Hodgins is talking about the measles. The first outbreak started in California. Now there's been about 80 confirmed cases there. But should people here worry? Yes, because people travel. It's a small world now. It's a global village. According to the Centers for Disease Control, there were 25 measles cases in Texas in 2013. None have been reported thus far this year. About 20 million people get the measles and more than 120,000 people die from the disease each year. It starts with flu-like symptoms. And then it's day four when you start to see the rash, which starts at the hairline and moves down to the face and the neck and then can go pretty much all over the body. Hodgins tells Action 4 News it can be prevented with the measles, mumps and rubella vaccine. But she says some parents have doubts of getting shots. They believe that the vaccine will do some harm to their kids. Hodgins says that's not true. She recommends children to get their first vaccine at 12 months and the second dose between four to six years old. And adults should check their vaccination records to make sure they've had two doses of measles vaccines. Hodgins says their hospital employees have also been tested to make sure that they have been vaccinated and are clear to treat others. Live in the newsroom, Tiffany Huerta's Action 4 News.